Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I want to talk about how to defeat the Librarian in Tunic. This boss is pretty difficult because you have a pretty limited space to, uh, to fight while the Librarian floats around outside of the main area of the rooftop here. As you can see, he does immediately start dashing at me here. He has got a giant laser beam he can use. He has a, a whole bunch of attacks. Uh, and I'm going to cover all of them in this video. So far, you've seen three of them and make that four. This first one we'll talk about is the orbs. As you can see, those orbs, he spawns them and then sends them at you. Um, they will track you based on your most recent location. So if you keep moving around, they're not so bad to dodge. You can roll through them or, you know, roll uh, away from them. You don't want to roll through them. Roll away from them so they don't hit you. But as you can see, most of them I will very easily dodge. The second attack I want to talk about is his summons. He has two different types of enemies that he can summon, and he can summon four of them at once. And they will always spawn in the same spots. As you can see, the little uh, spots that jut out from the roof, those are where the enemies will spawn. He can spawn the little skulls that have the long tongues, and then he can spawn the... Uh, I, I call them goblins. I don't think they're actually goblins, though. They're the little, the little goblin guys with swords. These guys right here. It only takes me two hits to kill them, but I did raise my attack power. I'm not sure how much it'll take you at this time, but you can treat them as standard goblins that you would throughout the beginning of the game. Um, you want to make sure that you take them out quickly because they are something they are, they can overwhelm you, and sometimes the uh, the boss will actually summon a couple waves of enemies back to back. It doesn't happen to me in this fight, but it did in an earlier fight, and it got really crazy really quickly. I had eight things chasing me around all at once. The good news is the summons that he does put out there can actually take damage from all of his other attacks. So if you're having trouble kind of clearing them out, you can just dodge around for a while and hope that his attacks will kill it. And then you can pick up the mana and then just spam fireball like I am here. You pick up the mana that they drop, and I just like that's my main damage in this fight. From there, he does have a couple dashes. He has one where he will send a wave at you, which can be, I found rather difficult to dodge. And then there's that dash there that I found difficult to dodge a lot of the time as well. But you do learn over time what these animations look like and how to expect them. And then there's the ground pound that he does right there as well. That one's very easy to dodge, but be aware that there's a little bit of electricity that goes out from it after he does it. And you want to make sure that you don't go in it. You want to wait until it is mostly gone, and then you can go in for a couple of quick strikes with your sword. Outside of that, the strike is very, very straightforward. It's just kind of repeating things over and over. Just be aware that as he does get lesser health, he spawns more orbs, and he does uh, he does do more, more of his uh, attacks in general much more quickly as his health lessens specifically under 25%. With that said, I hope this video helps you. Make sure you leave a like and a comment, and of course, subscribe for more guides, and I'll see you soon.